Wind instruments, like trumpets and saxophones, have mouthpieces to generate the sound and then tubes to filter the sound to make it sound more beautiful. In this short film, we're going to look at how mouthpieces and the filters work within musical instruments and we're going to find out if it's possible to make a musical instrument out of whoopee cushions. When you blow a wind instrument such as a trumpet, you blow like you're blowing up a balloon. You just blow a constant flow of air. It's then the lips with the mouthpiece that break up that flow of air to give you an intermittent flow, which goes on to form the musical notes. In this high-speed video, we've slowed things down by a factor of 80, and you can see the lips opening and closing, with the air supply being cut off and let through again. It's rather like when you blow a raspberry. A similar thing happens with saxophones and clarinets. In this case you have a reed that opens and closes across a hole and so interrupts the air supply to the tube. Now the problem with the clarinet is you can't actually see what's going on because the reed is stuck inside my mouth. So we've made this instrument. It's got a simple balloon reed on it, so you have a tube and you have just a simple balloon attached on the end. It's actually very easy to make. And in this case you can actually see the balloon creating the reed effect. The balloon rises up and lets air into the tube and then it falls down and shuts off the air supply to the tube. There's a lot of similarity between the wind instrument mouthpieces we've talked about before and the whoopee cushion. When I press down on the whoopee cushion, you get an intermittent flow of air coming out the end and get that distinctive whoopee cushion sound. So what causes the flow to stop? Well, when I press down, the two sheets of rubber open up at the front and you get airflow between the two sheets of rubber. And there's a phenomenon called the Bernoulli effect, which says when air is flowing, you get low pressure. So between the two sheets, we have flowing air and low pressure. And outside, we have high pressure still. And that causes a force, and the force slams the rubber sheets shut. And then the air is pushed out from the cushion and it opens again. And then the Bernoulli effect forces it shut again. And that's what gives you the intermittent flow of air. When I ping the glass, you can hear it makes a much more pleasant sound that you get from a whoopee cushion. This is because it's exploiting resonance. And that's what we're going to try and do to make our whoopee cushion sound nicer. Now you may have heard a story about opera singers breaking glasses. What happens is an opera singer hits a high note when there's a glass in the room and the glass suddenly shatters. Is that really possible? Is it really possible to break a glass using sound? Well, the idea is you have to play the sound at just the same frequency as the glass wants to vibrate, at its resonant frequency. And provided it's loud enough, the glass will shake so much it will fall apart. Now, I'm not a very good singer, so I'm not going to try to do it by singing, but I'm going to do it with my clarinet. And actually, this is quite difficult to do. So I've got the mouthpiece of the clarinet and the bell of the clarinet, but I've removed the middle and just put in a piece of plastic pipe that I'd bought from a DIY shop. The reason I've done that is the clarinet normally has a lot of holes along it, which cause the energy to leak out, and I want all the sound to come straight out of the bottom. So before I break it, I've just got to protect myself here, because actually the levels are very, very loud, of a danger to your hearing, and of course, because we're breaking glass, I don't want any glass in my eyes. So returning to the whoopee cushions, how can I make this into a musical instrument? Well remember first of all that this is like a mouthpiece of a musical instrument. So we've got the source, but what we've got to do to make it sound nicer is put it for a filter. And the easiest filter we can use is a pipe. And so I've got a set of whoopee cushions here and a set of pipes. The longer pipes do the low frequencies and the shorter pipes do the high frequencies. And I'll finish by playing you a tune.